Food is so much more than just food. What a person eats says a lot about their culture, environment, and history. This concept is what guided my research this summer. In collaboration with James and Rose Highland, their Descendant Council of Advisors, and the Institute of Integrative Conservation, my two research partners and I recorded foodways related oral histories of the Highland Descendant community. Highland is James and Rose's former plantation where he enslaved over 250 individuals. Many of the descendants of these individuals remained around the plantation in Albemarle County for generations following enslavement. Over the past few years, Highland has been working very closely with their descendant council of advisors to acknowledge this history. It was the council themselves that initially proposed the idea of highlighting the food of, the commu of their community. Based on their proposal, my partners and I came up with a research design that would fit their needs and that of the IIC. Our main objectives were to record the community's histories for their own use, share some of their knowledge with the public, and generally promote sustainability through Highland. We specifically decided to study the, the descendants' foodways, which are the social, political, and cultural aspects of food, and how those were shaped by the surrounding environment. This summer, we traveled to Charlottesville to conduct around eight oral histories with, with the descendants, in which they talked about their family histories, traditions, and current practices regarding food. A lot of the work we did was dependent on building trust and establishing connections with the descendants. Along with orthodox oral histories, we also conducted some interviews while the descendants were cooking and had informal conversations over meals. From these interviews, we noticed a few main themes. Many of the descendants we talked to had memories of growing up with large farms, raising animals, and, and traditions such as canning, hunting, and sharing food with the community. These small-scale, sustainable practices were based on generational knowledge of living off of the land. The descendants talked about practices such as using marigolds as natural pesticides and lime to protect meat in their smokehouse from skippers. These practices allowed families to be largely self-sufficient and raise all of their own food. They also fostered a deep connection between the descendants and the land in and around Albemarle County. Many of the people we talked to expressed a profound attachment to the place they grew up in, and many who have moved away hope to someday return. The descendants are also very connected to the dishes their families cook and gather around. These recipes have often been passed down for generations, but continue to be innovated upon in creative ways. We plan on storing all of our oral histories in a community archive that will be accessed by the descendants only. This will be owned and controlled by them. We also hope to create a public website with smaller clips of the interviews and educational excerpts about the descendant community for anyone to access. We see our work as having a few different implications. First of all, it can help Highland in the process of shedding light on and celebrating the stories of enslaved people and their descendants. These stories have previously gone unrecognized and been erased despite being integral to the history of Highland and our nation as a whole. Further, the knowledge we recorded can also be used to advance sustainability and agricultural education in the Highland community and beyond. The descendants expressed great interest in using Highland as a resource to educate younger generations, many of whom may be less connected to the history of Albemarle County and its farming traditions about community heritage and knowledge. In this way, our work can potentially serve as the basis for future programming at Highland that promotes agricultural education, food sovereignty, and a recognition of the land. Overall, this research was a great opportunity to further the work of Highland to connect with and highlight the stories of the descendant community. I'm extremely grateful for the relationships I built with the descendants and the experience I gained conducting oral histories. I'm excited to see how Highland builds off of our project and continues to work with agriculture and sustainability in the future.